In this video, we'll talk about the income approach or the income capitalization approach to appraising. Remember when you're talking about the income approach that there are two formulas that you're going to have to remember. The first, the approach that, or the formula that's actually used to calculate the value is what we call the IRV formula. The IRV formula would be I for income or NOI, net operating income, divided by a cap rate or capitalization rate, and that would give you the value of the building. That's the actual formula that you use to appraise, but most of the time in the question, you're going to have to use the stack formula in order to find the NOI to enter it into the IRV formula to solve your problem. Let's take a look at a question. This question says that a property could produce $100,000 annually. Well, if it could produce $100,000, that's typically going to be called the PGI, or potential gross income. It says the operating expenses are $38,000, vacancy and collection loss is 5%, and it tells you if the overall cap rate is 10%, what is the value of the property? This is going to be the IRV formula. The I is NOI, divided by the cap rate, is going to give us the value. In this case, we know that the cap rate is 0 0.10, or 10%. We're asked to find the value, so what we need to do first is identify what that NOI, or net operating income, is. In order to do that, we would typically use the stack formula. Let's go a little step further. The stack formula is PGI, or potential gross income, minus vacancy and collection losses, which equals EGI, or effective gross income. We then take out operating expenses, and we're left with the NOI. Remember, the NOI is going to be the I and the IRV formula in order to solve this problem. Taking this one step further, we put the numbers in. PGI is $100,000. Vacancy and collection losses were 5% or $5,000. We subtract. That gives us an effective gross income of $95,000. We subtract the operating expenses, which were given to you in the question, at $38,000, and we find the NOI is $57,000. Again, make sure you answer the whole question. Question did not ask you what is the NOI. The question asked you what is the value of the property. So we need to take the IRV formula, plug the NOI of $57,000 in as the I. The rate is 10%. Hit divide, and you will find that the answer is $500 and $70,000. Let's do another one of these. This question says, using the following information, compute an estimate of value for an income producing property. Round your answer to the nearest dollar. They've told you here the number of units are 10, the rental per unit per month is $1,200, vacancy and collection losses are 5%, property tax is 18,000, property insurance 6,000, variable expenses of 23,000, monthly mortgage payments of 11.2, reserve for replacements of 5,500, and the cap rate is 12%. Well, very similar to the last question, you're gonna to have to figure out the NOI and then use the rate to estimate the value. There's one little thing that they've thrown in here that I wanna point out for you. They gave you a bunch of expenses, property taxes, insurance, variable expenses, reserves, but they also threw in monthly mortgage payments. Be careful, monthly mortgage payments are not an operating expense. So again, just because a number is used in the question does not mean that you need it in order to figure out your answer. So if I were you right from the beginning, I would cross off those monthly mortgage payments so that you're not tempted to put them in. Let's go ahead and do the math on this. PGI was 10 units times $1,200 per month times 12 months, don't forget the 12 months because this is annualized, PGI is 144,000. Vacancy and collection losses are 5%. Well, 5% of what? 5% of PGI, which is $7,200. Subtract, and you'll find the EGI, or effective gross income, is $136,800. Subtract the operating expenses, again, taxes, insurance, the variable expenses, and the reserves. Reserves are considered an operating expense, but no mortgage payments. Whether they call it a mortgage payment or they call it debt service, it is not an operating expense. Once we deduct that, the NOI is $84,300. Time to plug these numbers into the IRV formula. NOI, 84.3. Cap rate from the question was 12%. Divide, and your value of your building is $702,500.